y'all are gonna flip out <laughs> when you see what's in here. <sighs> Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today's episode of Retro Bassin is sponsored by one of our Bassin buds, Marty Haim up in Ramsey, New Jersey. I've been talking to Marty on Facebook a little bit about, of course, old school tackle. And Marty let me know that he had a collection of old 70s and 80s new old stock soft plastic baits. He was kind enough to pack up what feels like about 20 pounds of plastics and sent them my way. I've been sitting on this box for a day or two. Definitely wanted to open it on camera for all you guys out there. I have no idea what is in this box. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. So I have no idea what is in this box. It doesn't sound too rattly, um, but that is a heavy sucker. Nine pounds, 14 ounces. <laughs> well, let's get on it. I got like my safety knife today. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Okay. So I, I gotta tell you, so nine pounds, 14 ounces of old school gold. Holy cow. Um Wow. Y'all are gonna flip out when you see what's in here. Okay, first thing is a Bass Pro Shops fishing and marine sale catalog. What year is this? It does say that if you want to get this rod and reel combo, you've gotta hurry because the sale ends on 414 of 2007. <laughs> Which is like 14 years ago. <laughs> All right, what else do we have here? Oh man, this thing is packed to the brim with baits. Okay, check this thing out. So that is a Terminator 3 8 ounce titanium buzz bait. Got Bill Dance and Jimmy Houston on the bottom. This is a pretty cool bait. It's got that really unique spinner blade on it, that buzz blade on it, and it's got a, a fish profile head. Finally, a buzz bait that's perfect right out of the package. If I don't get more than one of these, I am probably not going to open that. Real Image Cabela's Triple Take Spinner Bait. A few of my Bass and Buds out there did bring up that we do seem to lean a little bit heavy on Bass Pro Shops, but make no mistake about it, growing up, I spent just as much time browsing through the Cabela's catalogs as I did Bass Pro Shops. I just don't happen to have any of those on hand. Um, I always loved Cabela's. It had a little bit more of a northern flair and being from Maryland, chasing chain pickerel and striped bass, I always kind of like that about Cabela's. So this is pretty cool, the triple take spinner bait. Oh, that's a good looking bait. Looks like a what, 3 8 ounce? Yep. Oh, dude, Marty hooked me up. This is a Stanley Platinum Baby Wedge Spinner Bait. Check that out. 
like a baby bass color. Ooh, and like a sunfish color. Those are both eighth ounce. Oh man, they would be some little Texas River killers. Ah, some Lake Fork tungsten. Quarter ounce weights. I'm actually kind of low on weights. By the way, as is just about everybody. Weights and hooks, so <laughs> these are quite useful now. Cabela's Real Image Crankbait. Oh man, check this out. This is pretty cool. So I don't know that I've got any of these. That is a, a bigger crankbait. Almost looks like a striper type crankbait. Uh, so we've got two more Stanley Baby Wedge Spinnerbaits. Oh man. Sort of a uh, clear and a silver shad pattern. Oh, that's awesome. Woo, look at this. Excalibur spinnerbait. Probably one of my favorite profile combo colors, you name it for a spinnerbait. Chartreuse and white, double will leaf with a silver and a gold. That's old school. All right, so bass. Teasers. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty cool. It's like a grub deal with a jig head. A little spinning mini, almost like something from Night Lures. And a couple more bass teasers. You could also probably call it a crappie teaser too, huh? Ooh, the old school roadrunner. I don't know about y'all, but I spent many a morning watching Mr. Jimmy Houston Smoke some crappies on an old Roadrunner like this in the old Marabou. Oh. <laughs> this is like a bottomless pit of old school goodness. Oh. So we got some of these, some more Stanley rattling jigs. So what is this? The Platinum Flat Eye. So we got a 3 16 ounce. Make another 3 16 ounce. Yup. Oh, these will catch. Man, uh, I'm pumped. All right, Terminator Pro Jig. It's kind of funny, but I guess some of that uh, Terminator stuff is probably getting old school at this point, huh? More platinum jigs from Stanley. Oh man, this is awesome. So these are 5 16 ounce. There's one in sort of a blue purple. Hard to see with my glasses on, but it looks like sort of a watermelon green. Oh man. Oh. Okay. You're not going to believe this. Oh man, dude, you did not have to send me this. So this, if you watch this show, you know that yeah, I'm not like, I would say, a antique lore collector. Um, there are guys that know a ton more about old wood and feather baits than I do. Um, my wheelhouse is sort of that 70s, 80s, 90s era of bass fishing. There's a few baits in that era that get pretty expensive, but not too, too many. Um, without a doubt, one of the most sought after baits in the golden era of bass fishing is this. And I've just got two of them. The Bass Pro Shops Tornado Spinner Bait. I don't know what it was. This thing was available on the shelves of Bass Pro for years and years and years. I know folks liked it, but it was never like, you know, lights out crazy. Now, to find these, it's almost impossible. I can tell you right now, this is a quarter ounce tornado. I'll get a skirt for that. And this one looks like, yep, another quarter ounce tornado. Got the little clicker blade on it. You can hear that sort of banging off the aluminum blade. Oh, <laughs> wow. That, uh, that made my night. 
I could do, I'm, I think I'm done. I think that's it for, I just, I don't have to open anything else because that's, all right, oh, never mind. Okay, so what else do we have? The original sticky weight. Add weight to any lore. Oh, I don't know, that just looks cool. We've got some, looks like some sort of Bass Pro Shops crappie trailer there. Oh, the old Bass Pro Shops weedless super squirt. That's old school. Um, I don't even remember this bait, but it looks like it's a little, you know, one inch crappie tube, but it's weedless. Man, that's awesome. Some more classic tubes there and a pumpkin color. Um, another Pro Series flipping jig. That's a money package, huh? And a couple more of these jigs. Man, these are going to look great on the shelf. So what kind of flipping jig is this? So it is a uh, CADCO Pro Series flipping jig. Yeah, I don't know that one, but those look nice. Uh, stick guard. So this is if you don't have the weedless version of the super squirt. You got this bad boy, which will make them weedless. Nice. Looks like some more little crappie tubes. Bass spinner. Looks like that's from that CADCO company as well. Yeah, I don't know this, but it's endorsed by pro Elmer Daniels. So, thank you, Elmer. Berkeley Power Bait. Ooh, classic power jig. So endorsed by Jay Yellis, uh, Sicko Bassmaster Classic winning lure. Ooh. And by the way, one of the comments and maybe a series that we'll have to start doing is the lure that won the Bassmaster Classic. Obviously, like the past 10 years, 15 years even, those lures get a ton of press. Um, but some of the older ones, I don't know what year J won the Classic, but we definitely re but we definitely need to revisit some of those. Uh, Mini King from Strike King. Ooh, I'm liking all these little spinner baits. Oh. True tungsten weights, again, these are worth like their weight in gold these days, almost literally. Another pack of super squirts. Man, I, I like the look of that. That's pretty cool. Another Pro Series flipping jig. Man, it's going to take me weeks just to dig out of this stuff. I've actually been looking for some of these, but this is another uh, bass tournament winning lure, uh, the old flipping tube. I think this is in black neon, and this looks like a four inch tube. Awesome. Some Riverside Finesse Worms in June Bug. I gotta tell you, back in the day, it seemed like everyone was either throwing a June Bug or a motor oil. Um, two colors that you don't hear about nearly as much as you used to. Ooh, the old school packaging, the six inch Herb Reed Sluggo. <laughs> I still remember riding my bike to the Tackle Box in Severna Park, Maryland when these bad boys first came out. Oh man. Um, I remember getting like, I think it was like the four inch ones that came on a card. It was like four or five baits and one hook. Um, I still love this bait. Uh, another super squirt. All right, a CADCO buzz bait. So we're going to need to research this CADCO company. Um, I'm sure a few of my bass and buds out there know about it. I don't. So um, drop some info down below on CADCO. I'd love to know more. Um, here's another spinner bait as well. It looks like it'd be a semi like local type brand, but I'm sure I might get corrected on that. 
another Terminator jig. Looks like some Mr. Twister double tails. Those will work on the back of like a uh, Timber King spoon or Timber Doodle spoon, actually. Ooh, this is a nice carded tube selection from CADCO. So all these almost look like little mini tender tubes, which you used to see from Bass Pro Shops. They've got sort of more of a uh, shad profile. I don't know if y'all can see the belly on those. Um, that's a good looking little display there though. Nice. Put that over there. Oh, so this is good looking. So these are a couple of CADCO lizards. Uh, looks like a classic. Either that's a black with a chartreuse tail, I'm thinking. Nice. There's a good looking little spinner bait, the Gamagatsu hook. Ooh, another pack of lizards. Back when you only needed like two salt plastic baits to get you through the day, you know? <laughs> oh, here's an old school package, the Bass Pro Shops Spring Grub. I've been looking for the Spring Series. They had, I think it was like a Spring Grub, a Spring Lizard, and I'm pretty sure like a Spring Worm. It's almost sort of like a rib worm design. That's a pretty cool discontinued bait, for sure. So those are two inch, they look like three inch though. Hmm. BASS, Variety Soft Bait Pack. And speaking of ringworm, I think there's definitely a ringworm or two in there. That's pretty funny. Ooh, some methylate. What is this? Jitter worm. So that must be the riverside version of a floating worm. And you know, being it's almost February, those fish are probably gonna be spawning pretty soon in Texas. So honestly, man, I might be throwing a little bit of floating worm pretty soon, and that would be a good one. Methylate. I think there's two packs of those bad boys. Ooh, so this is an old school discontinued bait. The old, by the way, look at the old packaging of the Berkeley Power Bait. The Power Noodle. I guess, is that like the predecessor to the French fry or is that what they called the French fry before the French fry? Um, but that looks a whole lot like a French fry, doesn't it? This is a four inch power noodle and it looks gotta be a watermelon, right? Yep. Oh, another pack of power noodles. <laughs> awesome, another pack of power noodles. Man, those haven't even been opened yet, by the way. Dude, Marty, hook me up. It's like Power Noodle City here, man. Oh, okay, so Cadco um, company, but this is a bait. I think Hart came out with this for a while. It's called the Sensation. I'll have to open a few of these up at some point for you guys, but it is a, um, what is that? A five inch, six inch curly tail worm, but it's got two almost like mini curly tails about midway up the body. Oh man, some nice carded baits. So what are these? Split tails and mini teasers. Those are good looking, huh? Man. Ooh, a couple more uh, sensation. Looks like in a pumpkin. And blue with black tail. Oh man, those are old school and hard to find. And there it looks like uh, another sensation in sort of a gourd color, which is pretty cool. All right, getting down to the bottom here, a couple things left. What is this spinnerbait kit? Star Flash silicone skirts. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I mean, look at the side view. Oh. So this, what is this? Contains uh, five colors, six of each of our hand-picked spinnerbait skirts. Dude, are you kidding? Um, I was wondering where I was gonna get some skirts for those tornadoes, now I don't. Oh, look at that. Oh man. Sun. And that is a good old school looking skirt too, isn't it? Look at that. 
That is some prettiness. Wow, check out that guy. I think a silver, chartreuse, yellow monster. Wow, that is honestly a honey of a kit. Man, thank you. <sighs> Nuts. I don't know about y'all, but when I think of the magic of fishing, I mean, yes, those memories that you make on the water cannot be beat, but, but there was always something magical about getting that box in the mail of lures you ordered from Bass Pro Shops, cracking it open, and seeing all those awesome baits up close. Marty, thank you, dude. This <laughs> reminds me so much of that feeling. Um, just kind of digging through this box, not sure what was in here. Man, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the footage. Declutter my desk because holy smokes, that was 10 pounds of old school gold. So there's one more thing in here which is kind of nuts. A Bantam 250 Mag Plus Shimano Reel. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Oh! And that is a good looking reel. Man, you know what? It's funny, but the reel on my Shimano fighting stick has been kind of acting up a little bit. Um, I need to get it serviced. In the meantime, this bad boy is going to go on it. Holy cow. That is awesome. For the last video here at Retro Bassin, we did do a giveaway. I'm going to show you the winner of that one right now. Okay, so it is random drawing time uh, for the Lunker Lure and the Neon Spot. So I've got my random comment selector all pecked here for the video. Let's see if we can figure this thing out faster than we did last time. <laughs> okay, we've got the comments. Start. Oh, and the winner is Small Water Charters. Haha. <laughs> So I've got a feeling this bait is gonna catch a monster down in Florida. So small water, congratulations, bud. Um, great job with the videos as of late. We will hook up and I will get these two baits to you ASAP. And by the way, let's read this comment. A great video and I'm digging the stash. I'm not sure if you look like Tom Selleck or the motorcycle cop from the village people. <laughs> Either way, it's retro. Keep the videos coming and get your butt to Florida. Big bass are biting. By the way, guys, if you have not checked out uh, Small Water Charter's YouTube channel, definitely do so. I'll drop a uh, link to that down below in the comment section as well. Okay, so we've got a ton of old school goodness. Um, you know what? Let's do a little bit of a giveaway. Drop a comment down below. Um, let me know what is your favorite bait that you saw here today. I will put a few of these together in a box. Um, I'll pick a winner at random from the comment section in about a week's time. Uh, until then, Marty, thank you, man. You are truly a bass and bud. Till next time, guys. Keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. Thank you.